Hi, my name is John Pleasant. I'm reading for James Bevel. I'm 5'11", and yes, I can work as a local Georgia hire. Mrs. Nash. Mr. Bluff. Hey, Doc, we'll get you set up here. Then the local leaders will stop by the conference with us. But this is it. It's almost the place. A lot of groundwork's already been laid by the people here. They're ready. Here we go. Whoa, tall one. Wait, two Jameses? <laughs> you can call me Jim, sister. Orange is fine by me, ma'am. For a big fella. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's just fine. Now, is the SNCC standing with us on this or not, gentlemen? You want us to bring our people in, but you're not giving nothing in return? We're asking for some kind of commitment here. You ain't got very far, have you? Maybe not, but at least we're still here, Reverend. Meaning what? This time next month, you won't be. That's outrageous! Just like you left Albany, those people are pathetic down there now, like their daddy left home. Where'd you hear that? I overheard them talking about him coming this evening. That Negro cannot be talking all that by any means necessary madness to these people. They've about ready to burst as it is. These people pick up their guns and start shooting white folk. National Guards will be here firing on us so quick we won't realize it till we're lower, they'll lower us into the ground. We've got a plan going for real progress. Well, he's on his way, so we got to figure it out. Right and fast. He ain't on his way. He's here. Holy shit. Evening, brothers. I'm looking for my Mr. James Foreman of CNS, the C, SCNCC. What are you trying to pull, Lewis? I didn't know and I didn't, don't like it. Hey, Orange, go get Diane. Tell her to bring Coretta here. Mrs. King Coretta, that Coretta? Yeah. She's in town while Doc's in jail. We'll ask her to ask our Muslim party crasher here not to speak. Out of respect for her husband being locked up and all at the moment, it'd be pretty hard for him to tell her no, right? We have to be aggressive. I say we lay Jimmy Lee's body in George Wallace's door in Montgomery. No time to be soft, Doc. That's Kega Lee. That's the boy's grandfather. There aren't words to soothe you, Mr. Lee. There are no words. But I can tell you one thing for certain. God was the first to cry. He was the first to cry for your boy. Yes, sir, I believe that. Is your daughter... Is Jimmy's mother here with you today, Mr. Lee? She could. We need a new plan, Doc. Can't walk into LBJ with a list of empty demands. Johnson still has no real intention of moving forward with voting laws. If we're not even to the starting point with him, how we look in talking about the finish line? Because we need to dictate this conversation, Andy! Tell them what we want in no uncertain terms! Wait. Think this through. He goes in there with just two or three things, we, and we diminish the negotiation before we even start it. Better engage Johnson with all our grievances and let him whittle it down. Because you know they always whittle it down. It's always all or nothing with you, Don. We need finesse here. Ralph, don't patronize her. Listen for a change, man! I'm listening to a lot of my air. That's what I'm listening to. I agree with that. If you do ever actually register the vote, Let's say at the age of 30, you gotta pay back taxes going back to age 18 before you can cast a vote. Who has that kind of money? Look, I hear you. I hear you. But the real problem is the literacy exam. The average person can't pass it. And if you can, it don't matter when the local registrar can flunk you for missing a damn comma. They just interrupted a film about fascist criminals to show a bunch of fascist criminals. To 70 million people, we got our hands around their throats. What's the matter? Doc, someone's been hurt. A local priest who came from Boston. White. 
or no? Dead. No, no. It wasn't, it wasn't a black man who did it, was it? Some local whites got him. Kicked a man to death. Last words he heard was, nigga lover. <laughs>